All right, well, let's get started with a brand new project so we can see how to use YouTube Uploader from the very beginning. I'm just going to open up a new project. I'm using Unity 2018.2.19. Okay, so I have a brand new uh, Unity project set up, and the first thing, of course, is import that asset or it bring in the uh, Unity package. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring in the whole package. And you'll see the first thing that is going to happen is I'm going to get errors about the C Sharp 4.0 language. So I'm going to go to uh, Project Settings. We're going to say Build Settings and then Player Settings. And in the Player Settings, we need to switch this from .NET 3.5 to .NET 4.X. And that's going to make us restart Unity. Okay, so the errors are now gone. And uh, what I should be able to do here is just click on the window, and there's the YouTube uploader window. So here we go, the window's open, and we're ready to go. We can select a video file that we want to upload right here. Put in a title, description. We can set the privacy setting. Now we can see the video category is stuck on zero, and I can't click on it. The reason why is I have not brought in credentials. Uh, to upload to YouTube and we'll do that through OAuth 2 authorization okay so if we want to upload videos to YouTube we're gonna need to log into our YouTube account and we do that through OAuth authorization so if you do a Google search for YouTube data API v3 that'll take you to this page here and uh, so we're at the YouTube data API homepage and we can click on guides and right here it talks about the authorization process so what we need to do is sign into the Google Developer Console and so I'm gonna click this link here and uh, this is gonna bring us to the Google API's um, API's and services this is console.developers.google.com and we can see that it says here that we need to create a project in here so you can see I can select some of my projects I've been testing with uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and select new project and then we'll just call this uh, tutorial YouTube upload we can select an organization if we want to and I'm gonna select create so once the project has been created we're gonna select it uh, here so the tutorial YouTube upload make sure we're on the right project and so now that I can see here there's no APIs or services enabled so I need to click here enable APIs and services and I'm gonna search for YouTube and the YouTube data API version 3 is the one we want and I'm gonna click the enable button so that's gonna go ahead and enable the YouTube data API v3 for this project and to use this API we may need credentials that is correct we're going to want to have the OAuth 2 authorization. Uh, so to learn more about that, we can click here for the authentication and implementing the OAuth 2 authorization. Now what we need to do to make this happen is just go ahead and go to create credentials. That'll bring us here. And it's going to ask us what API we're using. We're using the YouTube Data API version 3 and where will you be calling the API from well we're calling it from unity so that's not a web browser or a web server Android iOS Chrome so we're gonna go to other UI which is Windows or command line tool and what data will you be accessing public data or user data um, and this for uploading videos we need user data so now I can click what credentials do I need and we need to create an OAuth 2.0 client ID. Uh, so we can name this client whatever we want. So I'll just name it the same as the project. Tutorial YouTube upload. And we'll just call this client. So I'm going to say create OAuth client. And then the email address which is associated to your YouTube account. Uh, put that here to set up the OAuth 2 consent screen. I'm going to press continue. Oh, and the product name needs to be shown here. Let's just put the uh, tutorial YouTube upload. And we could call it client since it's the that's the client who's 
requesting access. And now we can see here's our client ID, but I need to download the credentials. So I'm going to click download and that gives us the client ID.json. Now client ID.json is just needs to be added to the project uh, and anywhere in the assets folder will work. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now that I have the client ID.json, I'm just going to bring that into the Unity project. It doesn't matter where it goes, you can you can go ahead and put that anywhere you want to. But now that the client ID.json is here, uh, we can go ahead and make calls to the YouTube API and it's going to be able to authenticate. So I'm going to open up the YouTube uploader window. And now that I have the client ID file in the project, we should be able to authenticate with Google. So I'm going to click here to open the YouTube uploader. That's actually going to automatically open up my browser and it's going to ask me to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with the YouTube account. And we can see it says choose an account to continue to you tutorial YouTube upload client. So this is what we're authenticating with and I'm going to choose the YouTube account that I want to use. And here it says that uh, this client wants to view your YouTube account and make sure you trust it. Of course, I do trust that and I'm going to click allow. It says received verification code. You may now close this window. Okay, so I'm going to close the window. Now we have completely authorized with YouTube through the API here and uh, this client ID gives us the authorization to sign into the YouTube account and do all uh, functionality with that. So here we have the YouTube uploader. It's ready to go. We can see with the video category now that it's populated the API is working correctly because this is a query to the YouTube API to get back all the video categories. So in case they add new ones or move these around uh, you'll always of course upload to the correct category um, but this is one sign that the uh, API is working correctly is that this list is populated so now we just uh, we're ready to go to upload a video with this uploader screen we could just select the video now um, let me select one that's in the assets folder it comes from the demo so here's the demo and there's a demo video I wish I could just drag and drop it right here, but it doesn't quite work that way. So I'm just going to click on this and say show and explore, copy the uh, copy the URL, put it right there. We have the demo and there's a demo video. So I've selected the demo video as the video I want to upload and we're just going to call this one, we'll just leave it this as is, dial description, uh, we'll put it as unlisted. And uh, instead of people in blogs, we'll go ahead and set it to science and technology. We can add more tags here. So we can say tag 03 and click add. That's going to add that tag. We can also do comma separated lists here. So if I want a tag 4 and a tag 5 and a tag 6 and notice the spacing here, it doesn't really matter. It's going to account for that. And I clicked upload. I didn't want to upload yet. So I'm going to cancel that um, and we're going to go ahead and add tags. So you can see all the tags are added and uh, we're ready to go. I'm going to click upload on the video and we sh we have a progress bar here. And when I clicked upload, I did get this uh, pop-up once again. And so we're going to go ahead and select uh, here select the username and now we have a new request for access manage your YouTube videos so I'm gonna say allow and uh, received verification code so back to unity and with we don't have to do anything at this point because it automatically received the verification it's now uploading the video and we can see the upload progress okay so here I am on my uh, YouTube page and I can see the video was uploaded and uh, there's the title description, the tags we put in. It's set to unlisted and under advanced we can see it's set to science and technology. 
Um, so the other way that you can upload YouTube video is right through just a script. And with one line of code, we can upload a YouTube video. How that's done is really easily. See, all this information is saved to a scriptable object. So under the project, if you go to scripts, editor, you're going to see default video info. Now default in video info has all this information saved into a scriptable object. So you could just edit it right here, duplicate the scriptable objects, and kind of use these as templates for the uploading YouTube video data. Now when I do, if I go to the demo folder, you're going to see that there's a scriptable object here called custom video info. And I have the, um, I have all the data filled out already. Title, description, tags, category, uh, pri privacy status, and the file path uh, to, to the uh, file. So what I can do without using this window, now I just have a game object and I've added a script here, the demo YouTube uploader. Now demo YouTube uploader is a very easy script. Um, it doesn't need any of this stuff, so I'm just going to delete it. But um, it does need a public YouTube client. So I've, you can see here I've uh, instantiated a YouTube client and set that to a new YouTube client. And we also have a public YouTube video info variable called video info. This is for the scriptable object. So if you can see if I go out here to my... Uh, to my uploader game object. There it is, the video info. And this is all it needs to upload a uh, YouTube video. So you could just drag that scriptable object, drop it on here, and that's all the data that it needs for the upload, of course. So when it starts, it just says YouTube client dot begin video upload, and it passes in the video info, which again come is just that scriptable object. Uh, so I'm gonna hit play, and with that one line of code in the start, we're going to see in the console that the upload is starting. It's uploading. Uh, it can tell us how many bytes are being uploaded. And uh, then it's going to be done. So video ID 0 was successfully uploaded. We should be able to go to our YouTube page, click on videos, and uh, it might be processing still. Um, YouTube is going to take a minute to process that, but we could, we could go to edit and see the title, the description, the tags came through. Uh, whatever data was set in that in that scriptable object. So that covers the tutorial for YouTube uploader. Uh, at the moment, there's two ways you can upload. You can use the uh, editor window, and you could just you know click upload. That was nice and easy. Or if you want to automate things and do it by script, um, it's very simple. You could see that in the demo script. It actually took three lines of code, but uh, three lines and we're up and running so that's all you need to do to upload YouTube videos from Unity. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.